Welcome to Instruct Tutorials. In this video, we'll discuss the next steps for installing and configuring the Salesforce integration with Instruct. In the previous video, we added visual components to the lead, contact, account, and opportunity record pages. If you have not done this, head to our tutorials playlist to follow along. The next step is to configure the likeliness gauge. Let's get started. The likeliness gauge represents different forms of data depending on the context of the current page you're viewing. If you're viewing a lead or contact, it represents the likelihood of it being converted into a sales opportunity. If you're viewing an opportunity or account, it represents the likeliness of all the contacts that are tied to that opportunity or account. The likeliness gauge is calculated using three metrics, total number of tracks started, total time spent on instruct tracks, and the course completion rate. By default, all three metrics will have the same weight. The score is displayed to the user as low, moderate, or high. For a more detailed breakdown of how this is calculated, head to our documentation page. Let's take a look at how to toggle and edit these metrics to our needs. Go to the App Launcher and search for Instruct. Click the Gauge Setting tab. We see it broken down into two sections, Leads and Contacts, and Accounts and Opportunities. Click on the toggle to enable or disable any metrics, and then select Save. Next, let's click Edit Metric Thresholds to view and configure the threshold levels. The input fields will automatically be populated with the default thresholds for each metric. We'll change a few of these to our liking, and then click Save. Well done! Head to the next tutorial to continue configuring the Salesforce for Instruct integration.